On any given day in Monroe County, there are men, women, and children homeless living in the mangroves, living in the streets, or even in their cars. Now, most of them lack not only housing, but they also lack social services, adequate nutrition, personal hygiene facilities, and medical attention. Fortunately, though, there is help for these individuals who are at risk. That help comes in the form of the FKOC. Stephanie, thank you for being on the show with me today. Thank you for having me, Jenna, and giving me a chance to talk about this important issue in our community. It is a very important issue, and the FKOC is such an important organization here, Stephanie. How did this organization get started? Well, the Florida Keys Outreach Coalition, or FKOC as we like to say, really it began as a grassroots effort amongst community members more than 20 years ago now who mm -hmm. saw homelessness in our community and saw it as a concern and wanted to help others. Um, it started out with individuals just meeting, talking, trying to figure out ways that we could start a shelter in Key West and how outreach could be done for the homeless. Uh, about 20 years ago, now actually it's our 20th anniversary this year, FKOC was officially incorporated and what started as, you know, efforts from individuals has now become a multi-building shelter. We offer emergency shelter, transitional shelter, and even permanent supportive housing for individuals, men and women, and families now too. Wow, so you guys offer such a wide spectrum of services then, Yes, Stephanie. actually one of the biggest increases in um, the homeless population that we've seen over these past years has been that of families. We're seeing a dramatic rise in the number of children who are homeless. Mm -hmm. The economy being down is really affecting our families the most. Mm -hmm. And we're now seeing two parent families that just cannot make it, even with both parents trying their hardest to work. Mm -hmm. And that's been an issue we've been trying to address most recently by offering intact family housing. So if we have a mother and father who want to stay together mm -hmm. and want to co-parent together, being homeless doesn't have to necessarily affect that. We can put them in shelter together and keep that family unit intact. Stephanie, what exactly is your position with the coalition? I'm the case manager for our Women and Women with Children's program, which now has slightly expanded to, as I mentioned, mm -hmm. intact families. Mm -hmm. We've even been able to recently help a single father who needed housing. Prior to that, there was no housing available for single father situations. Mm -hmm. uh, we always thought of homelessness affecting families with a single mother, right. not a father involved. So. Uh, my position has been evolving a little bit and mm -hmm. that's been exciting because when we see a challenge in our community, when we see a need, we're not saying that's not what we do, we're saying what way can we help with that? How can we connect that individual to services or that family to services? Mm -hmm. Now Stephanie, how many years have you been involved with the coalition? This is going on my seventh year now. Mm -hmm. So I actually started out um, two summers prior to that as an intern. Mm -hmm. And I really fell in love with not just the Florida Keys, but with the job mm -hmm. and with helping others. And it sparked a real passion in me mm -hmm. to reach out to others. You know, it was something before where, yes, I was aware of homelessness and I was studying mental health at the time. But I didn't get how it all fit together. Mm -hmm. And through the wonderful opportunity I had at FKOC as an intern, it really sparked for me uh, to pursue that as a, as a full-time career. Have you seen it change a lot throughout the years, Stephanie? It has. You mm -hmm. know, as I mentioned, families now mm -hmm. are such a concern for us. One in 45 children in our country are homeless. So really, if you go to an elementary school and you look at a classroom or kids playing soccer, one of those kids does not have a home to go home to that night. One of them will not be guaranteed breakfast, lunch, and dinner. One of them might be sleeping in a car or at a friend's house, might be scared to say what's going on in their family because they're worried about the consequences that could have. And we, we've seen that, you know, become more prevalent mm -hmm. um, in, in the population that we work with. You know, it's very easy to think of a homeless person as someone on the street, you know, who's drunk or begging for money and we can make an excuse for why that person is homeless and we don't have to necessarily address it, but when we're talking about children, when we're mm -hmm. talking about parents who just can't make enough money mm -hmm. to maintain housing, that really changes you know, the, the scenario that we can put that in, the context that we can put that in, and it changes how much we want to help. Mm -hmm. And now you said one in 45 children. Children are homeless. That is so scary. Yes. Stephanie. That is, so I, I don't know what we would down here in Monroe County without your coalition. Thank you. Um, you know, 
we, we of course are very lucky to have great mm -hmm. community support and great community outreach. You can go onto our website, fkoc.org, to find out more about how you can help. But we do have the holidays coming, which is a busy time for us. Mm -hmm. Our goal is to make sure that every child wakes up believing that Santa has visited. Mm -hmm. So I will be looking for elves to help me <laughs> make that happen. Mm -hmm. It's a big undertaking. We're going to have about eight families that we'll have with us this mm -hmm. year for the holidays. But we're ready to do it. Oh, that sounds wonderful. And I, I hope you accomplish that goal and get all Thank those you. children excited on Christmas. Yes, oh, they will be. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Stephanie, for being on this morning. I'm going to take a quick break right now, but I'll be right back. Stay with me.